Global Homes of Medical Mission have won two court cases regarding its ownership of the property in Bigelow previously occupied by the anti-crime unit. However, police officers have on Thursday stopped Nene Freda Gomez, the country representative for Global Homes of Medical Mission, from entering the property with her vehicle. Standing on a chair while addressing the press, after being denied entry, Gomez explains her encounter with the police upon arrival at the property in the early hours of Thursday. Monday, right after the courts, we were here. Right? And Tuesday. Wednesday, I didn't come. Thursday, today, I planned the press conference. Right? Came and met two officers at the gate. I greeted nicely. I said, can you please open the gate? I want to put my car in. He was like, do it, do it, do it, do I was like, sorry? I got out the car. I was like, what do you mean? Did it, can do it, do I was like, why? And he was like, why? I was like, what do you mean why? He said, why? I said, I have orders from the court to come here. Where's the order? Where's the order? Show me. I said, okay. I removed the file and pulled the court order, the judgment, and said, this is it. Read it. But I believe he does, did not understand a word on the paper. That's what I believe, because anybody that reads the paper and sees that it's from a judge of the high court, you will obey and abide. That's what a bona fide, a patriotic citizen, somebody with five common sense, somebody who understands, that's what you will do. So he gave me back the paper and started calling and calling and calling. They tried to stop me. I said, no, if anybody should go out, you should go out because I did not invite you here. And that's the right thing. You came here without my permission. You came here without my authority. So if anybody should go out, you should go out. They cannot stop me. So I came in. They stopped the journalists and said they're not going to come in. And then they made a call and you have a reinforcement team that came in. Some of them are reasonable. They are talking to me like a human being. But some of them, if I allow them, they will treat me like an animal, which I am not. I'm a human being, a Gambian, a citizen with rights to be respected. She blames top government officials for refusing to hand over the property to them. Starting from the president, Adam Abaro, because he's, he is aware. We had a meeting with Adam Abaro. But what he told us is they already have an agreement with a private investor who has given them $87 million to build a hotel to use for three days OIC. After the OIC, the investor is going to continue to use the property. That is the precedent. And that was reiterated, reinforced by the spokesperson, Sankare. The same message. And they have also said it. I mean, Ahmad Bas signed a $100 million uh, 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 concession thing with uh, Imo Lan, uh, Abdullah Cham, a Senegalese, who does not even have an office in Senegal. You trace him by phone or email, but there is not a, a, a registered office in Senegal of such a company that is about to enter into a deal of $100 million. Is that not irony? Now, uh, Monday, we saw the secretariat. They are not talking about Imo Lan, they are saying Imo Gam. Things have changed. Imogam instead of Imolan Sol, now is Imogam. Things have changed. So we need to watch their actions and see how they're trying to manipulate the people. We are 100 steps ahead of them. The country representative for Global Homes of Medical Mission said she will continue to fight for justice to the end. The monies that they've taken, let them give it back and allow us to be. Let sleeping dogs lie. And let's all try to uh, respect the rule of law, the people who are supposed to upheld to protect the custodian of the law, the attorney general is the one, first and foremost, flaunting the law, disrespecting court orders, and giving orders for the uniform men to be used as, as jacket potatoes, potato jackets, against us, the citizens, illegally, unlawfully, because the police act says, obey lawful, legal orders. I read it yesterday night. Legal orders. It says nowhere else that obey any order. No, it did not say that. I will never get tired as far as the judiciary is there. Right? I mean, we did it. We did it. Once we did it, twice. Everybody that was on site, we sued them. And they had to answer to the suit. And we will repeat the same thing. Every time anybody obstructs me, I make sure you are identified. That's why I always invite the media when we have engagement, when I come here. In 2019, Global Homes of Medical Mission sued at the Carnival Magistrate Court reclaiming that it deemed as its rightfully owned property. The court ordered that 
Global Homes of Medical Mission shall take possession of the property and the Inspector General of Police, the Director of Lands and Survey and the Attorney General to pay Global Homes $50,000 for general damages for trespass and $25,000 for the cost of the action. Concurrent to the judgment, the Canving Magistrate Court served the Inspector General of Police, the Director of Lands and Survey and the Attorney General a writ of possession of the land. The court ordered these entities of this state to surrender the Bigelow property to Global Homes. The court also wrote to the slave to enforce the judgment in 2019. Nenefredo Gomez and Lyman C. were both arrested after initially attempting to repossess the property with support from the slave's office. The state charged the duo for trespass and idle loitering and changed their charges numerous times. The case has been suspended by events. Global Homes decided to take the IGP to court and won on two occasions for their unlawful arrest. The state is supposed to pay them over 100,000 in fines. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Buba Gajigo.